It's official, y'all. Clementine and Ruby have made it to Las Vegas. Oh my gosh, it's so <laughs> wild. Never in a million years did I think we'd be driving our home that we built onto the Las Vegas Strip. Yeah, we are right downtown right now, you guys. <laughs> this is crazy. But just as I suspected, Clementine and Ruby fit right into the Vegas landscape. Oh yeah, these ladies are looking to get lucky tonight. <laughs> But anyways, we have to focus and figure out where the heck our RV camping spot is. Oh, there it is. RV park. <laughs> we found it. All right. Okay, another RV park sign. <laughs> Doesn't look like the most official thing, no, does it? <laughs> not very sexy, but that's okay. Maybe the least glamorous RV park we've ever stayed in, but the backdrop is pretty sweet. Okay, so apparently we have to hit some kind of call box before they'll open the gate. Okay, here it is. We have to pick up this phone. It's dialing. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just checking in. Okay, thanks. Bye. All right, she just gave me the gate code over there. Let's see if it works. It's opening. It worked. So we've made it inside the gate, but now we're not really quite sure what to do. Nothing's really labeled. It's very, very low key. <laughs> but maybe that's cool. It's just gonna be a really chill stay. But man, do they have a lot of spots. I mean, just countless, countless spots. Just so many. All right, let's go figure out registration. Okay. <laughs> we're assuming it's in this building. I think, right? Hi. Hi. Checking in? Yes. Picture ID, please. All right. What size are you? Uh, 22. Okay. Is it a back in or pull forward? Pull through. Pull through. Not a pull through. Oh, pull through. I, I didn't have you. I don't have you as a pull through. Uh -huh. I have you as a back in. Great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So I accidentally booked the wrong spot. I booked a back in. <laughs> I didn't realize that, but we we need a pull through obviously because we're we're pulling a uh, Ruby there. We might not disconnect her that way. I'm pointing the wrong way. <laughs> but that was a whopping fifty-eight dollars a night for that spot for three nights for three nights and check it out we're staying on lucky lane i told you Ooh. these girls are getting lucky tonight all right but for now we gotta go get all hooked up and all that boring stuff so that we can get ready and get out on the strip whoa cheers cheers all right let's set this baby up to get something from the fridge and I realized the RV tried to make scrambled eggs on the way over here. <laughs> Y'all, we had these beautiful organic free range eggs and they got smashed to pieces yeah, and they this, spilled all over. This is the downside to our chest fridge is every once in a while, you know, we spill something in it and then this is what you have to do to clean it. Yeah, so now everything is all out and I'm trying to get it cleaned up. There's a lot of nooks and crannies though, and of course it ran down onto everything and the, like the compartment below. Yeah, so this part of RV life might suck quite a bit, but I mean, look at where we are. You can't beat it. We are in a parking lot <laughs> on the Vegas Strip. We brought our home with us. Yeah. We have all the utilities. <laughs> we got the AC blasting, which is the most important thing because man, it's getting hot outside. Yeah, so really, I can't be upset at all about this. Alright y'all, we got everything set up and we are officially Las Vegas residents. Cheers. All I'll drink right. to that. <laughs> yeah, Temporarily, of course. <laughs> we're doing our residency here, just like all the greats, like Britney Spears yeah. and Penn and Teller, Siegfried and Roy. We're the magic duo. I can actually do some magic tricks. Check this out. Yeah. Every little five-year-old at home <laughs> is very impressed right now. Children actually are really impressed with this trick usually. Adults, not so much. Mm -hmm. So y'all have seen that as we've been traveling around doing the RV life thing, we have stayed in a lot of really cool spots and done a lot of really cool RV camping. But I gotta tell you, this is one of my favorites. This has been a bucket list stay for me because when we used to live in San Francisco, we actually would fly over to Vegas all the time. That is true, but we always stayed in very, very pricey hotels. <laughs> yes, we did. This is not a pricey hotel, but it's much nicer on the inside if you ask me. And I didn't have to pack anything, any carry-on. I didn't have to check baggage, didn't have to go through security. Everything I own is right here. Oh my God, the wind, y'all. It's fierce in Vegas right now. <laughs> When you're in the RV, it literally is shaking it like you're in a tornado or something. This RV park does happen to be the only RV park that is on the actual Vegas Strip. However, it is known for being kind of bare bones. It is a giant parking lot. 
And that's what all the reviews I read about it said, and uh, they weren't lying. It's kind of an old parking lot with a bunch of weird patches growing through it and, you know, cracks in the pavement. Honestly, though, I thought it was going to be worse than this. I mean, this is pretty decent compared to what some of the reviews made it seem like. Hey, some of the sites have a palm tree at it, so that's that classy. I'm so jealous. I want to be next to, like, one of these really cool tree features. But it is a gigantic RV park. We counted well over 100 spaces here, so this thing goes on freaking forever. Some people complained about it being kind of unsafe and just seeing shady characters walking around, but I haven't noticed anything like that the whole thing is fenced off and i've seen a security guard just like casually driving around so we'll see how it is when night falls but i think it's going to be okay hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> either way i have my knife my mace and i have an axe in there now as well so <laughs> the axe is actually just for chopping wood it's not actually for killing <laughs> But it could be for chopping if you cross us. Yeah, well, you can chop. It just depends on what you want to chop. <laughs> all right, let's move on from all the murder talk. <laughs> so I'm not sure when this RV park was created. I imagine a very long time ago, and I don't think anything has been updated since then. Look at where you hook up to. This little box is so <laughs> it's freaking so rickety. <laughs> rickety. It goes into, like, you can see down into creepy nothingness down yeah, in there. This is actually really rickety here as well. Too. I mean, it's not leaking at least. This is kind of nice and contained. They do have a strict policy. You have to have something that keeps your hose in there. And if anything spills or leaks from your black tank, I read that it's a minimum $1,500 charge Whoa. to clean it up. Holy cow. So make sure you know you got you keep everything closed until everything's really hooked up and in there but some of these little kiosks look really rough in fact this one over here isn't even functioning anymore <laughs> yeah but that's kind of nice we won't get any neighbors tonight it'll just be us and the open pavement <laughs> hey, night will be approaching soon it is time to hit the town baby vegas style hit the <laughs> strip Hit the strip, I mean. Yeah, you gotta get in the Vegas mindset, man. We're gonna strip on the strip. Whoa. <laughs> You'd probably make a lot of money if you did that. <laughs> huh, second career, eh? <laughs> so we are staying at the Circus Circus Hotel, and that's actually kind of on the north end of the strip, a little out of the, off the beaten path, I think, but it is still on the strip. But it's basically 30 minutes to anything if you wanna actually go on the proper strip. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a nice little walk, as we typically do when we're in Vegas. If you haven't been to Vegas before, you end up walking like miles, even if you don't mean to, just to get to a restaurant on the other side of the street you have to go through like five different casinos and up stairs and downstairs and the escalators are always out. It's part of the fun of it though is figuring yeah. out how to get across the street basically. But that's how you can eat and drink so much because you just walk off all the calories. You know I don't think we really mentioned it but uh, one of the reasons we kind of booked it over to Vegas is we are meeting up with some old friends here. Are we saying who they are yet? Nah they'll see them in just a bit. Okay. We're gonna go meet up with them on the strip. So there doesn't appear to be any like walking path to get out of here. We're just walking through all the parking lots hoping we can find our way. Well, according to maps, we need to be on the other side of this structure. So do we just, yeah. I guess we just Let's walk. go around. Let's go through that shady alley. Okay. All right, so we're supposed to be meeting our friends somewhere in the Venetian, but we have no idea where if we go up, down, right, left. So hopefully the map will help us. Oh, there's a map. So I'm assuming if we go... <laughs> this guy's really trying to figure it out. <laughs> Leave him be. I think I know where we're going. <laughs> I feel like this is what always happens in Vegas. It's like we had to go up an escalator, then across a bridge, and then we're on the other side and we're just randomly in a casino. I don't even know if it's the Venetian or not. I feel like in Vegas the best way to do it is just to stumble upon things yeah. and try not to ever actually find something because it's so hard to do. Okay, we've reached a dead end with a false wall. Where are we going? I don't know, stick with me, kid. I'll get you somewhere <laughs> yeah. sometime. Bullshit. <laughs> Look who it is, crazy, yo. Right? <laughs> hey. It's Trevor and Anna, y'all. Hey, hey, everybody. Here in Vegas. It's really loud in here. Yeah. yeah. Hey, oh, boy, this is the first time we were in America in three years. This is the first time we've been to the States with you guys. Yeah. I think, yeah. right? No, no, that's that. nuts. No. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Obligatory cheer Yay. shot. Yay. Back Friends. together. Reunited. <laughs> it feels so fun. Happy half hour. You get 30 minutes 
unlimited drinks on a thing that is essentially like a London Eye. It's an observatory with 360 views that just goes very slowly in a circle and gives you grand views of the strip. It takes 30 minutes for one complete rotation. Yes. So you have that much time to cram in as much free booze as you possibly can. Well, and by free, it's not free at all. We paid 60 USD. Yeah, but it's $30 more to do this ticket. So if you drink three or four of these, you're getting your money's worth. Right. Yeah, the bartender over there is basically like a ninja. I've never seen somebody make margaritas and vodka sodas so fast. Obviously, it's worth it for the views. It's pretty cool. We are at the tippity top of the high roller, y'all. Check out these views. I've never seen Vegas like this. I've only ever seen it from way the hell down there, and you don't know where the heck you are, but now you can see everything. Oh, it's a bit of a thing getting off that thing. <laughs> I was the final drink. Yeah. He managed to pour me a drink right as everyone started leaping off of the thing. <laughs> cheers! Cheers! <laughs> What's funny is it doesn't stop. They're trying to get like, yeah, just keep going. Just gotta keep going. It just keeps You're going, stuck. you run. Okay, they're waving us off. <laughs> the Delightfuls are making a bet on a slot machine. It. We don't know how it works, we like the music. <laughs> they put a whopping five bucks in there. Oh my god, this is complex. What does this even mean? <laughs> what just happened? Game over. Oh, what? This is this is how they get you guys. This Did you lose your five bucks? I don't know. Oh, it's three dollars oh, okay. Oh. We put in five and we got a three dollars. So you just need to win better, play better, you guys. I know, Canadians, this takes us a while. We'll get it, we'll get it. Vegas got us. <laughs> five dollars to Wall <laughs> Vegas got us. Damn it. ways with Trevor and Anna and we were making the like 30 plus minute trek back to the RV park and we walked by this place and it smelled delicious and it was tacos. We look on the maps and it turns out Eric had this place starred for God knows how long because it's been years and years and years since we've been to it Vegas. It was randomly a star on Google and I was like why do I have tacos El Gordo starred? So, this is why. Yeah serendipity y'all look at this. We got Al Pastor, I got mine with everything on it, so there's Al Pastor that he sliced off with perfection onto these perfectly grilled tortillas. There's some onion, cilantro, a spicy sauce, some cream on there. Oh my God, I couldn't imagine a better end to a night in Vegas. We had a lot of fun, we hang out, we got to hung, we got to hang out with our friends, we hung out. I'm just gonna enjoy my tacos now, I guess. <laughs> That's the end of this. <laughs> so we had a great night on this trip. We walked, my app is telling me, like over seven miles, I think. I gotta tell you guys, I've been sleeping like a baby up here. This is like, it feels like my bed. I mean, we're so used to living in Airbnbs or hotels or other RVs and this is just it's our home. Yeah, we walked so far But we walked back to our house. One thing I love is that of course we're in the desert, but It's like uh, mid-April right now and uh, it's been very cool at night So we don't have to run the AC or nothing. Maybe we crack a little window or something But it is very nice and cool at night and confirmed the RV park is very quiet We haven't had yeah. any shady characters. Nobody loud. No music. No nothing at night This has actually been awesome. Don't let the reviews fool you because some yeah. people are like Oh, it's so shady. It's so creepy. I would never stay there again. It's been fine yeah. for us. All right, but it's gotten very late and we still have a few more days here in Vegas, so we got to get to bed. Good night, y'all. Good night. Now buzz off. Is that the wrong way? This what? way. Oh, yeah. I still got to turn off those lights. Oh, Oops. <laughs> okay. Well, Damn. you get the picture. Oh. Oh. What was that? I don't know. That was a nice thing. Okay, now good night. Good night. Well, good morning, adventurers. We were having a really nice night, and then somehow, for some reason, they brought in a construction crew on site right next to ours. They've been uh, working on getting up some concrete all morning, <laughs> so they're using some sort of concrete saw and a jackhammer. Nonstop. For hours back now. And forth. <laughs> yeah, it started at 7:30, and it's getting close to nine now. Yeah. Our Vegas parking lot today was going so well. <laughs> Until yeah, now. we had nothing but rave reviews. <laughs> but I guess uh, that's our alarm clock. It's time to get up. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Y'all, Trevor and Anna are coming to see our RV. They should be here any moment now. I'm yeah. so excited. It's crazy because I've seen it digitally, you know, yeah. for years, but never seen it in person. This will be so fun. I love showing off Clementine, yeah. especially now that she's working. I'm always excited and nervous when we demo it to I people. Know. I know. What's going to break when we show them something? <laughs> but hopefully nothing. But it was great motivation to get this place cleaned up. Yeah. And that is always a nice thing. Hey, guys. Hello. 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 Stranger. Come on. In person. Yeah, it's Can real. We take our shoes off? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Whoa. Wow. I didn't put it's real. It's yeah. Real. It actually exists in real life. <laughs> it does. <laughs> this looks amazing. Yeah. We watched you guys renovate this for what, like a year? Yeah. And have all the trouble with <laughs> it for like, what, two years? <laughs> Don't remind us, please. <laughs> so is it as big or as small as you were thinking? or? You know what? On the outside, walking up to it, it is a little smaller than I thought, mm. but on the inside, it's really it spacious. feels big. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it feels like really warm. Like, yeah, with all the wood, you know. Yeah. Like I knew you guys were doing that, but we've been in lots of RVs, but they're yeah. usually like this is amazing. flimsy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're, we're actually entertaining people in our RV. Show them the little koozie we gave you. How cool. That's our favorite little koozie. Yeah. I know, I got the best one. Oh, you got a unicorn a breathing unicorn fire. And a cat with a gun. <laughs> and it's very play. American. Yeah. It's American. Super American. <laughs> This is so cool, y'all. We're bumping some Post Malone on our little speakers here. And we got our drinks. We're using our table. Oh, you know? yeah. yeah. It's working. It's definitely the perfect size. Yeah. I'm digging it. It's great. Well, I appreciate you guys coming over and seeing our little creation. I'm so excited oh, to man. finally see it. Finally. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of Clementine because we're going to be traveling with these two for quite a bit coming up. Yeah. So you're gonna, you might get sick of us. Mm -hmm. in upcoming videos. That's impossible. <laughs> you guys are just too delightful. Uh, I know. We can't wait to show you what we're going to be driving. It's going to yeah. be first time van life mm -hmm. for yeah. us. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we can kind of show them the ropes, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not going to lie, though. We may have said a few times, like, we're so happy these guys yeah. are going to be with us for our first time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, we literally know nothing. Hopefully so. we can help you guys yeah. out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we have one more fun thing we are going to do here on the Vegas Strip, something very delicious. Mm. Ooh, but other than that, this is, this has been a wild and wacky stay here. It's been yeah. a lot of fun. We're on the Strip with Clementine and we Ruby and happened. our buddies. Yeah. 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 <laughs> P.S. If you come here, it is actually a pretty decent parking lot. It's pretty quiet and there's not a lot of noise or lights or anything. Yeah, it's very so, safe feeling. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess that's it. Goodbye, Ventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>